just made a liter of chocolate milk. To celebrate that, we are now in Martinic, in Grand Anse de Aglet, I think it's called. It's very nice. It's beginning to rain right now, so I have to go in, <laughs> or else the camera is gonna die. But the water, it's so clear. And it's so hot here. So I'm gonna take a swim when I'm done eating and yeah, just whatever we gotta check in too, so just listen to this. I think many people hate that sound. I don't know. I find it quite calming. I think I'm gonna sleep very well tonight. We've been around a little bit, seen a little bit. I think we'll try to go to this town a bit away from here that has some stuff, a supermarket, we can check in, stuff like that tomorrow. So I think Javier and Anne is out trying to do a hike up into some of this stuff. Um, I have no idea how successful they're gonna be, but uh, well, I did get two decently sized coconuts. So let's see if I can uh, extract the sweet juices from this. I got the, the technique down. Just make more holes. Now I'm going to Petit Dance again. I remembered the camera. And hopefully I can check in there, get some internet. Uh, it should be a net cafe where you check in. So hopefully I can also take my PC and uh, and do some stuff on that one. And it's pretty on the way there. There's some cows, but they look very pretty starved. But I don't know if they're supposed to look at that or something like that. I'm not a cow doctor. boat it's evening I did a bit of fishing this evening and it started raining and I got very wet but it should be good for fishing when it's raining still didn't catch anything I think I might be the worst fisherman ever but hopefully at some point I'll break my uh, my my bad luck I um, there's a restaurant that has sockets for charging stuff and pretty good Wi-Fi so I went there and did some editing and stuff and I finished the Atlantic crossing video and Anne Javier is still in the city um, they went to Fort de France apparently because the lift they got went there anyway so they're like let's just go there and now it's very late so I hope they can get a lift home or else they're gonna be stranded which I don't know, might suck or might be an interesting experience. Although I would rather be right here and sleep. I'm very tired. Please subscribe to our Patreon. It helps us pay for all kinds of stuff. Help us, help you, help us. I just spent pretty much the whole day uploading the latest video on a restaurant by the beach here that has internet because I strongly, strongly underestimated how bad their upload speed is so it took, I don't even know how long, five hours, maybe more I wanted to do a lot of stuff today but 
ended up only doing the video stuff. I wanted to send postcards and get some new gas because one of our gas bottles are empty now. Hopefully tomorrow I'll wake up early, send the postcards, try to get our gas bottle exchanged and maybe catch a fish. Just took the dinghy to shore. It's fairly early morning. I'd like to wake up earlier, but I didn't. I'm going to uh, to the city. I've been there two times. I called it, I'm pretty sure, Petit Dance. But apparently it's not Petit Dance. Um, I'm going there to send some postcards. And then I think I might try and hitchhike to Le Marine, which is where we can get some uh, stuff for our boat. Anne and Pavi came, uh, came uh, home yesterday. Uh, very very early in the morning or very late in the night how you see it um, from Fort de France and when they woke up they told me that they had been robbed or oh, well mocked they were walking on the side of a road at four at night outside the main city so I think that might have to something to do with it but it's still still not a nice experience I think I think I had a better experience during that day than they did, so stay home kids, outside is dangerous and you'll get marked. get a lift to Le Marine if I can't. It's pretty far away but it should be possible. It should be the culture to hitchhike a lot here. It's been raining on and off today so far quite a bit and it's been kind of windy both which I can handle but these tiles they're almost already dry but they get super super slippery when wet just got the last lift. I'm at the marine now. It's pretty big. I don't know if you can see that, but there are a lot of boats down there. And now I just need to find a boat shop and get the stuff I need. I have now gotten the band for one of our autopilots. They don't really have the band size we use for the old one. But I got the band for the new one and it was 60 euros. Going to the supermarket now, gonna get a few groceries that I can fit in this bag. I'm gonna get a cold Coke and a sandwich or something I can eat. Because <laughs> I'm really, really thirsty and hungry. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna go back for a dry bag. I would like to have a dry bag, so. I got all my stuff. This one is ice cold, so that's really good. I am in cover of the sun. I have my little spot here. It's practically paradise. I have my own little creek, except for the barbed wire right over there and all the trash. And the faint smell of piss. But otherwise, it's, it's really nice. <laughs> in general on the island I've seen they're kind of spread out everywhere it does look quite nice except for the car and the trash bin the trash bin so but whatever these sudden rains make a lot of water it's quite nice when it's so hot cooling you down a bit
sitting, doing stuff. I've done that for a few hours. I wanted to go, but then Anna came and I stayed for a bit longer. I think we're gonna go to Morten's boat. He's leaving tomorrow, and uh, eat with him. I didn't. Um, I never like wrapped up yesterday. It was super easy, like uh, hitchhiking home. The the first guy that picked me up, um, that took me most of the way home. He was playing Christmas music when I came into the car. We heard uh, "I'm Coming Home for Christmas" and then another qu track. But the weirdest thing besides that was that right after he changed to uh, EDM music, electric dance music. And it was just such a weird clash. It was a pretty cool guy. We didn't talk really, but um, he had a he had a nice car. It's small bats. They're just flying a lot before, but of course they stop now. And in the tree, I can see one just sitting on a branch, chilling out. Just finished being in Tisabla, the restaurant with the internet and power plugs. And editing most of the next episode. Uh, so I think I'll just go back to the, to the boat and eat some food and fish. And maybe a hike tomorrow on some snorkeling. I'd like to snorkel again. It was really nice last time, I guess. There'll be lots of things that I haven't seen yet there. Woke up fairly late today. Would like to wake up a bit earlier to get, well, to get more done during the day. But I'll not stay that long at the internet restaurant thing. I'm spending too much time there. I feel like, but um. I'm going to go there and edit a bit and get some stuff done. And maybe Anna is coming back today. Who knows? I have no idea when or if it's going to be today or tomorrow or whatever. But yeah. That'll be great. It's snorkeling time, boy. finished or well not finished but as close as I can be to being finished with the editing of the new episode and as you can see here it looks very impressive but that's only because it is Anna didn't return as I foretold I am pretty much an oracle maybe he'll come back tomorrow this morning I saw two pretty big lizard fish. Yeah, lizard fish is, uh, that was a short clip of Carl holding one um, in some episode. I don't know how far back it's gonna be. And we ate that and it was pretty good. I just I just want a spear gun or um, a pole spear, which is a more manual and cheaper one I've found out. So I hope they have that in the marine when I go there at some point again, so I can, so I can kill some lizard fish. So now I'll go snorkeling again I don't know I just I really like it I really I really dig it I think I'm gonna do that a lot so yeah I'm gonna bring the camera and hopefully something cool will be there
used in Tisabla, the restaurant with the internet, to well used internet. The next episode is very close to being done. It crashed twice while uh, finishing it up, so uh, hopefully now it won't crash. Um, I think at least one of the serving ladies there are getting a bit tired of me just sitting there and ordering water. I don't know. Maybe I'm the bad guy here. Maybe, maybe she is. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna keep going back. I think until they just ask me to leave straight out. She was only a little bit like. It seemed like she wanted us to actually buy something. Uh, this morning, I snorkeled a bit. I think I'm gonna snorkel a bit right now. It seems like I'm in this loop the last few days. Just go do some computer stuff at the restaurant. Um, go snorkel, go to bed. So uh, I'm pretty satisfied with that so far. But I think I might go to Le Marine tomorrow to try and get a pole spear. Going to Le Marine to get a pole spear. Yeah. I also need to return one of the spares I got the last time because the lady didn't give me the right one. from um, Le Marin pretty late because we were kind of unlucky with the hitchhiking back and I just fixed up some of the stuff I brought I bought some new line for the fishing so now they can both be more than 30 meters out um, I think I'm gonna catch some fish now hopefully uh, when we go sailing again and I got the pole spear is in the middle of this mess and hopefully I can get a shot of me spearing a fish. I'm gonna try this spear out and see if I can get some breakfast. <laughs> I didn't get any fish. I really, really expected to get some, so it's kind of disappointing. The main reason for failure wasn't that it was hard, but it was that um, there was a lot of uh, not jellyfish, but just like strings in the water that sting you. And a lot of areas in the little reef that's over here, whatever you want to call it, there was so many of them today. Like today, way more than any other day I've tried. There were so, so many of them today that was unbearable swimming in most of it. Also, I saw a pretty big squid. Um, and I don't know if I can spear a squid. I'll have to read up if that's possible, if you can, like, if they don't ex escape. But, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do some reading, some tactics, and then try again later. Just uh, uploaded the last episode. Um, I'm back. I wanted. I hoped Anna was here because I need some money to pay for the water I had at Tisabla because they apparently don't take ca card now, at least when it's under 10 euros. And uh, Javi has left us. He left a very nice goodbye note. And he's gone. I don't know where he went. Uh, I think he had some plans with another boat that were going to South America, so maybe they arrived and he went to them. I don't know, maybe Anna knows more. Anna's out somewhere. But I'm gonna try and spearfish again and see if I can get something. Woo! My first fish. I um I think my aim has gotten a little bit better because I got a lizard fish. It's pretty big. Got it right in the head. First I hit it there and it um it waggled free almost immediately, which is kinda kinda sad. But I followed it. And then I got it right in the head. Yeah, that's gonna be a a nice breakfast. They are. It doesn't. It doesn't look that big, but.
but they um, they have very small stomachs, and uh, there's actually a lot of meat on that. Just look at this thick boy. It has such a small stomach, it has nice thick sides. This is heating up, put some oil on it, a little bit of flour in that. It's gonna be real good. Self caught fish, well speared, with homemade bread. It's a bit black, that's the oven's full. With some mayo. It's pretty good, man. Mm -hmm.